Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. I think the spoiler is about ready to be put on the motorcycle. Uh, one thing I did not show you guys was I wet sanded it. And I just wanted a, a, a mirror like finish as close as possible. So I think that turned out really good. Uh, now, when I got this, guys, I bought it off eBay, and uh, I paid 46 bucks for the, but it came in black. Uh, $46 for the spoiler. I already had the paint because I painted something else on my motorcycle, so we will, uh, hopefully that's still a, a pretty close match. And $46, it didn't come with mounting hardware or the template. So I guess I'm going to be winging it, gold winging it. Yeah, good way to look at it. So this is going to be interesting. Stick around if you're interested to watch this thing get mounted on. Other than that, guys, start the intro. Okay, well there she is, without the spoiler. Hopefully that luggage rack is not going to be in the way. Don't exactly know that yet, but we're going to figure that out. Uh, I guess we're going to get the drill and get this thing opened up. See, see what we can do. Here we go. Now I've watched a few videos. Uh, Cruise Man Garage has got a video out there, but he's got he's got one with a template. I have no template, so we're gonna be eyeing this thing, I guess. Um, <laughs> my little cool mirror. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be taking these screws out, and I guess we'll go all the way around, get all those screws out. I'll go get my screw gun, and I guess you gotta drop this top. Yeah, I guess these screws got to come out too, but I guess you got to drop this top piece, the inner shell, and to be able to wire it. So, here we go. I've already pulled a couple out already. Um, I guess it's good to, to have a little cup. So I'm just using my little ram mount cup holder, and I got some screws already in there, but... Keep all your screws, guys. I mean, put them in a little cup. Put them aside. You don't want to lose any of those things. But, yeah, let's get going. So, once you remove the 13 screws, then you got to remove the two screws that hold your clips down that latch your trunk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you got one down here one down on the other side that you got to remove and then this thing should become loose which it is now there is a plug on the back side that you got to unplug so let's pull that down and get that plug unplugged uh, you can see it up in there so okay let's do that okay we got the plug unplugged it was just a little push pin you just had to push it pull it out that's plugs into and this is my wiring for the mirror I would imagine it would be this plug right here that I need to tap into so we need to I need to get a picture of that see if I can go find a plug that size um, and then cruise man's garage they did say that Honda puts the little nipples to where you're supposed to drill now, I do feel the nipples, but the issue I'm going to have is we need to, and they're on both sides, there's three of them, but we need to, I don't know if you can see that in the picture, there's one there, one there, and one there, but we still need to make sure that this thing is uh, going to line up with that luggage rack up there, so, all right, here we go. I don't have a template. 
So what I did was, because my luggage rack is on here, and I don't want it to be hitting it, uh, I mean, maybe I should have changed my luggage rack, but then I got to deal with these open holes, and I'm not going to deal with that. So what I did was I taped the bottom, uh, the damper, I guess, it's like a little foam damper. I taped it to the bottom of the spoiler and then I set it on each side and then taped it down and that's going to be my template. So and then I got this little soft tape measure that I use to measure it to make sure that the distance between there and there and there and there is, is exact on both sides. Uh, now guys again I want to let you know something. I'm not like this big professional or anything. I, anyone can do this, okay? Anyone can do this. Uh, you just have to be right, especially when you're drilling holes into your motorcycle. I recommend checking five times drilling once because if you mistake something, all it takes is that one time and that's, now you got a hole. So. But like I said, I'm, I'm not no professional. Anyone can do this. I got 40, 48 bucks, 49 bucks. I had to buy some mounting hardware. That was another six or seven dollars. So I got under 60 bucks. Put a spoiler on my bike. That's pretty good. Painted it myself, did it all myself. So we gotta do the wiring yet, but. Uh, so we're gonna keep going and cross our fingers. Hopefully we're pretty dang close. Okay, we got them marked. Oh, my drill's dead. I think it is dying though. Let's go get it on chart. Okay, holes drilled. Now we gotta screw these screws in. We'll get that taken care of here. You gotta be very precise with these holes because if you're not, you're not gonna be lined up. So it's very, you gotta be very precise. Um, but let's let's uh, keep putting this. When you're, guys, when you're tightening these screws, you're gonna wanna be very careful not to tighten them too much because you can put too much on it and she'll just crack. But there she sits. Not bad, not bad at all. Now we gotta wire it. I even think that's straight. Not too shabby for someone that doesn't know what they're doing. But I'm gonna go uh, figure out this plug and we'll get this wired. We need to plug into this white one. And I have a GL1500 that's considered a parts bike. And I went back there and I stole this part off of it because I'm not gonna need it. And it fits in there perfect. So we're gonna take this wire and we don't need four feet of wire we're gonna cut it so it, it'll just be all right up underneath here and we're gonna cut it put in some butt connectors plug her in should be good to go all right it's kind of hard to show you these butt connectors but all you got to do is insert the wire into the hole and squeeze it down as you can see that one squeezed down so we're gonna do that real quick finish that up and for added safety just make sure it doesn't get wet we're gonna run some tape over it and I could have bought a new wire but it didn't come with it at all so there's the uh, buck connectors all taped up protected from all the weather elements we're gonna plug her in of course I need two hands to do that and then we're gonna check this brake light plugged in I can't believe that part fit that was cool okay so I got to turn the bike on Hopefully you can see the, look at that, and she works. Nice, okay, let's finish up. Now just reassemble everything in opposite order. We got all the screws in. Everything turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, um, it was not difficult. Like, like I said, anybody can do this. I got 40, about 60 bucks, 48 bucks for the spoiler, about 60 bucks invested. 
I already had the paint, so $60 later and I got a spoiler. Not bad. Wired, ready to go. The only tricky part was drilling the holes. But like I said, anyone can do this. Check five times, drill once. Check five times, drill once. Then you know you got it. All right, David's gonna hit the brakes so we can see if this thing works. Hey, hey what do you know? Do it again. Do it again. I like it. Let up. Do it again. Okay, guys. Like I was saying, it's not hard to do. Anybody can do it. Uh, about 60 bucks invested in the whole spoiler. Now I got a spoiler. And I think that looks pretty good sitting on the back of that bike. It's not going to go nowhere, I guarantee you there. Uh, wiring didn't cost me nothing. I had, I had the plug on the other 1500 that I just used. And glad Honda puts all that stuff together like that. But anyways, again guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to use or ring that bell notification. YouTube will let you know every time I upload a video. And remember, if you don't make the choice, the choice makes you. Have a good one, guys.